Have you ever been on the streetcar and you've been short turned? Lots of times. Yeah, what do you think of short turns? I hate it. This car will be short turning in Ronsonsville due to traffic conditions. Ah, the dreaded short turns. They've been the number one complaint by streetcar riders for decades. Annoying. Annoying? Annoying. You're being polite, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> so why do streetcars short turn? Well, essentially to fill a gap on another route. Passengers have to get off and wait for the next car, sometimes for many minutes. It's been happening with great frequency for years right across the city, until now. Finally, the TTC has dramatically reduced the number of short turns. Take Queen Street, for example. Last week, it started implementing a new way of managing flow on the 501 route. One year ago, Queen Street cars had over 600 short turns during the first week of January. Last week, during the same time period, that number plummeted to just 48. Overall, across the system, there were 3,500 short turns during that same week in January a year ago. And this year, just 299. Very, very nice. That mm -hmm. makes me happy. Now, meet the man who is pushing the reviled short turn into extinction. Rick Leary, the TTC's chief service officer. He's been with the TTC for 18 months and in a presentation concluded, former performance promotes short turns. So he changed the way streetcars are scheduled. Is it almost that simple? You're rewriting the schedules? to eliminate this problem? It's almost that simple, but it, uh, it does take a lot of work with staff in the right. field. Leary's a transit veteran. He worked for Boston's transit system for more than 25 years, and after that, York Regions. He's modest, but he seems to have conquered a short-term dilemma that has been plaguing our city as long as we've had streetcars over 100 years. Why wasn't this done years ago? Again, I, I'm gonna look forward, not back. All right, um, this is my third transit system that I've worked for, mm -hmm. um, so I've had some very good uh, mentors in the past. So you just brought a whole new set of eyes, a new look at the problem and solved it a different way? Yeah, sometimes you need someone that uh, just looks at something a little differently to help you out.